So I thought I'd do a very quick demonstration on the next Bluebeam review and Excel setup that I'm working on. This is for measuring foundations to uh, house types or housing projects in here in the UK. Um, but I'm sure this could be adapted for uh, different locations. It's just uh, this is how we tend to look at things or how I tend to look at things. So I just run through this quickly. This is the setup in Excel. I've got a summary info sheet. I've got oversight types now, oversights one, two, three, four, five. Now these match up with a markup in uh, review. And I've just put in some details here for each makeup. I've got wall types, I've got types of brick. I won't go into all of that at the moment. Basically you choose external wall type one. These descriptions are in review as well. And you're just here, you're choosing your makeup for those walls. I've got some other bits and pieces down here like mesh types, clay board. Uh, I'll go into this more on when I've, when I've finished everything up and tidied it up and got a full working version. Now we enter in some details. So you can see here, I've got some details here, plot numbers, house types, finished floor levels, top of concrete, bottom of concrete, original ground levels. And over here, I've got some standard uh, other information, uh, what, uh, what the void depth is from the finished floor level, whether you're starting at the stripped oversight level or the void level with all your measures. Um, concrete mixes, types of mesh in the foundations, various different things. Th these to give you a, a good deal of flexibility when you're measuring. What that actually outputs for you is all of this information. So you've got your plot numbers, house types, and then basically this works out all of your quantities across the site, gives you a total, and it also gives you totals plot by plot. Now, I will try and show, this This looks quite complicated, but once you're set up, it's quite easy to go through. So, quick demonstration at the moment. Um, so I've got all of these house types already measured, which have gone through into that other information, but I was gonna show you just quickly how easy this is to set up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this into plots one and two, but I'm gonna create my own um, a new house type so I'm gonna you start by using the space mark that up I'm gonna call this a vinic house type okay and then we jump over to the tools for measuring first thing we do overall footprint which is used for measuring the reduced dig etc so let's just There we go, that's the overall footprint, foundation footprint. Now we, if I can find out a way of just copying the other one and using it, it would be very helpful, but I've got to mark that up again. But then this time I've got to do my cutouts. So we just got the footprint of the foundation. Marking those up slowly. Right, that's the footprint of your foundation. Um, next, let's do the oversight. So this is gonna be an oversight type one because it's a house oversight and we're gonna measure just inside here because the oversight is gonna sit over the internal block work. That's our oversight measured. Next, we're gonna jump on to some internal walls. So we've got some internal block work walls here. Let's jump onto there. First one. 
next one that's your internal block work measured and then we've got the external wall type one so we come around here So that's our external wall measured. And then we've got to do scaffold mats. Now this is the same as the external wall, but if you've got garages with different types of external wall, like a one brick thick external wall, obviously your uh, scaffold mat area will be slightly different to that of your external cavity brickwork. Right, I think that's it. Um, we won't do anything with top and bottom of concrete levels but there is the flexibility so if you have steps in the tops and the bottom of the foundation you can you can work all of that automatically and very simply but let's just leave it at that at the moment some basic measures uh, and then what we can do is that's all done so hopefully we just export to the CSV Okay, that's done. We jump back over to our spreadsheet. So what we do is in our trad details, we come over here and we put a Vinic house site there and one there. So what we're gonna do is let's just um, put a couple of different details in for these. So if we put in levels of 26 for both of them, but top of concrete, let's make that one 25.1. Um, so that's 900 of masonry, and let's make this one uh, 24.95. So that's a. Now let's let's make it totally different. Let's make it a meter and a half deeper. So let's make it 24.5, so we can see some differences here. Uh, let's say the bottom of concrete on that one is um, 24.6, but on this one, let's make it really deep. So. Uh, Let's make it 22. Original ground levels, well, we uh, make this one 26.2 and we make this one 25.8. You're actually going to get these details off of um, a site layout over here. Um, what we do is we leave this one as the mesh using that mesh there, but let's come down here and let's say. Uh, We've got some A393 mesh in there, and let's go right over the top and say we've got um, B785 mesh vertically. You won't have all of these together, but this is just to show what you can do. Um, you've got external skin of facings, you have to put in the minimum depth for how many courses of facings you want, etc. Um, you can say whether you want to use trench blocks. And you can say if you have got some extra over face work underbuild. So let's say on this one we've got an extra 15 square meters of where you're going to have face work instead of block work. Right, that's our details entered. So what we should be able to do is come over to the full bill here, come down here, and let's have a go at refreshing this. Now this might take a bit of time. Oh no, I've just refreshed the wrong one. But anyway, this this will give you some details in here. Um, it takes a bit of time to run whilst you're recording the screen but it's uh, much better to have this running you can go and make yourself a cup of tea while it's running or something like that um, it's much better than you trying to work all these details out so basically what it's doing is it's going in and combining a lot of information mixing and merging it with other data it will go in and find all your wall details and split those out and so you've got like your external skin of face work block work it works out different how many courses of commons you need so it just works out all, all sorts of different things um, as i say this 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 process tends to take a lot longer whilst you're uh, recording the screen and I think I've done a test on my computer recently, which um, shows that I probably need a new laptop because it's uh, 
rather old. This laptop's seven, seven years old, I think. Um, it's an i7, but uh, I think it's coming to the end of its life. So I hope this is going through. This, this bit is taking far too long at the moment. So there is one way to speed this up. I found, so what you do, I'm going to have to stop my refresh, close this, if I press save, close that down, close Excel totally, and then open it up again. There's something called data mashup container loader or something in Excel, which seems to um, unfortunately get stuck, but maybe that's due to the age of my computer. So, right, we're back onto this full bill here. I'm gonna show my queries and connections. Once again, this is normally instant, just uh, one of those things of recording the screen. So if I come down here, this is the full bill that I want. So let's up, refresh that. Hopefully this will go a bit quicker this time. It tells me it's loading some data. You can see all these question marks come up here on these. So what it's doing is it's just working through and updating each of these. Um, As you can see, I've got up here, it says I've got 44 queries. Basically, it's trying to work out, it's, as I said before, it's taking all the information and mixing and matching it together. Um, whilst it's doing that, it just, as you can see, you, you end up, with very few markups, you end up with a uh, an awful lot of information. I'm going to leave this running for now. I might come back and edit this video just to um, because of this recording the screen making it so slow. Um, I might edit this. I might not. I might. But whilst that's running, let's jump back over to here and um, just show you what I was talking about on some other bits and pieces. You, you have the flexibility. If you have a step in the top of the concrete, we have some, some details down here, top of concrete measures. We have the same for bottom of concrete measures. So what you can come do is come and mark up in here and in your markup table down here, you would, um, for those measures, the markups you would enter the top of concrete or bottom of concrete level. And that's all you'd do. You, you don't need to do any other calculations yourself. If you've got steps in the top of concrete, you can come and um, allocate and put measures in on your, um, on your uh, masonry. So uh, if I come up here, I think I did a couple on the other house types. Um, so here I've got a pier where I've put in top of concrete level and fa uh, finished floor level. So it will use those levels to actually work out the um, the correct correct heights for the walls, and it won't use kind of if you've you've got an average height for the top of concrete, it won't use that. It will work everything out properly. Um, as you can see here, you've got a lot of measures. But this one really didn't take long to mark up and that's all you're doing is you're basically marking up a few areas and a few lengths and once again here i've got top uh, bottom of concrete levels for founding levels um but that's all the in ex extra information that i'm inputting so here we go we've jumped back we've got some extra rows in here you can see we've got plots one and two now we've got vinic house type 
we've got different reduced level digs because we put in different levels for these um, we've got different mesh details because I changed those on plot two we've got um, different cavity fill to the external walls because we've got different heights we've got exactly the same measurements for the um, the fin of the floors because they are the same here we've got a big difference in block work because plot two is a lot deeper uh, but scaffold mats are the same vents to the external walls are the same uh, on this plot too we can also see we've got the extra over for the face work so you can see here we've got all the details we need everything's worked out I mean it's even worked out all the girths of all our DPCs as well and it's all done that done that from those few uh, markups that we put on here so uh, as I say our once I get this finished and I'm going to have a look at, at doing one for piled units, once I get it all finished, I will um, update everything and do a proper demonstration on that. But hope for now, um, hope you like that. Bye.